I'm three times certified, but still I'm out here showing love to everybody, you know what I'm saying? I got plaques up in this joint, you know what I'm saying? But I love the rappers, so I'm gonna show love to all the rappers, you know what I'm saying? Went to jail, that shit was some bullshit, you know? You know, you fuck with niggas, I ain't no robber, but you put a pistol, I'm gonna get you. Um, you know, and it's all about that, you know, that's just a street part of me. But than that, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm all good. I love, you know, I love the music, man. I'm gonna show my fans something. I'm gonna show y'all how to be lyrical and use music. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't just sit down and write music, man. When I do my music, man, I, I wake up out the bed and write my shit. You know what I'm saying? I got shit like a song, like, on these pills with the word I kill myself. Swear you a bitch, man. For real, nigga, I'm gonna get you, boy. I'm gonna pinch on your pussy. Okay. Now, y'all got phrases, boy. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I know a lot of shit my niggas wanna talk, dog. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I'm saying? So, phrase boy used to be my new boy. You know what I'm saying? The nigga saw Phrase Boy, called Phrase Boy, though, though his girlfriend wouldn't see him mix with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? The nigga never did. The nigga come out of green, bro. The nigga, you go to store for me, nigga. The nigga, you do any motherfucking thing I say. Little white, I don't do too much noise about the nigga, but my nigga never say right here, bitch. You feel me? Oh, oh, man, boy. That's why all the songs in the cars that sound like some weak ass nigga. Y'all can't make nigga fight no more, man. All them bitch ass nigga behind this shit, man. Talk about fight. My nigga ain't on fight. See? Shit. shit here, boy. Little white ain't nothing but a little hoe. Damn, I just realized, boy. <laughs> Dig that, yo. Anyway, I got the inevitable coming out. I apologize for me being gone all that time. I ain't lost shit. I dedicate number. Well, I dedicate the song Fire for all you niggas that got some shit to say. And for y'all hoes. Paul, what's good with the states? How you doing? Cross, what's your favorite one? Like Tasa, how you doing? You still working in Turkey, taking beats? Any motherfucking way. I dedicate fire to you hoes, man. To y'all beats and to y'all beats and nigga baby mamas. I dedicate I spot you. And when I spot you, it's on. Juice ain't never shot shit. I think I used to take off on you nigga. Chris, you remember you was in Mike, Mike Wade night on the palm, the nigga about to jump you niggas scanning boot cop. Who the first one around the corner, nigga, drop you on your motherfucking neck, man. Damn, I've been hurt. Personal bus. I ain't gonna let Lord, he was with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? But me and Lord were doing everything. But for a person to come back around and say some shit like that on TV, might get real, nigga. I know your life, nigga. You hear me, man? You just not getting shit, nigga. You still an ass kisser, man. Going on this world, 
uh, in this city by rich folks and, and politicians is in this shit. And this shit is really serious. So I told myself, hey, well, I'm not the kind of drink blood because it was 150 some ways of what you can say. Booze, you got Satan's and Coke's, all kinds of shit, witchcraft, sorcerers, all this shit. So I guess I was just a goddamn mess. You know what I'm saying? This shit is real. Uh, I went by South Bend and ran across a motherfucker with a bonfire. You know what I'm saying? So the thing about it, I, I said, I, I guess I was, um, what you call it? Um, you know, I was a clean, fancy type Satanist. So they said, um, ask a lot of y'all worship the devil. They said they're Christians, but they bump in triple six, you get what I'm saying? So my job was to, out of anger to make black people get comfortable with their name. And I was very intelligent with it because I read a lot about it. You know, so I read a lot of books. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Baptist. I'm not an atheist. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not a Catholic. I don't believe in Jews. I don't believe in a lot of this bullshit that they make up. It's all to maintain order. Now, I can't talk against religion because without religion, which is what they use to maintain order, if they had me, it'd be a lot of chaos. You get what I'm saying? But... Uh, I read a lot and I put all that into the music and the energy. You get what I'm saying? Because how you get Satan's name going, you get the kids to liking it. Now, today, see, I think we was one of the first people to break it like that. You would think Trevor City would have been a rock and roll band. So I think I was used by Satan and I think he's a bitch. Uh, I don't fear him. I don't even believe in that motherfucker no more. But, uh, just to get black people, you know. Once you get the black people, which are the riders of the Bible, they carry the Bible on their back like Jesus, uh, Yahshua, whatever his name is, told him the cross, you know what I'm saying, the crooks or whatever. Uh, but anyway, we got those, we got people comfortable with his name and we made sure we made songs <clears throat> the um, violent, very, very violent. We made songs very violent. Um, everything, everything was violent. Sometimes we uh, used to hit me, try to come up with stuff to hit me, times people like repeated the truth. Everything, everything was violent. Sometimes we uh, used to hit me, try to come up with stuff to hit me, times people like repeated the truth. Everything was violent. Six Mafia is enjoying life at the top. One former member of the group complains the rap group is keeping him down. Robert Cooper, call me Coop, was an integral part of 3-6 Mafia during the early years. He rapped on some of the group's gold and platinum selling albums. His plaques still hang on the walls of 3-6's studio. Coop says he got pushed out of the group four years ago. Since then, he's released two solo albums and has another on the way. Success as a solo artist has been an uphill struggle, made more difficult, he says, by 3-6 Mafia. You gotta think, I come from a platinum group, right? All the fans, I still have fans who still would love to hear from me. And just to, just to sit up and think that I was a part of getting Memphis on the map, I don't get so no love. Now. And I'm out in Big Roots to take Noriega and come and backseat the Bush family finance that holding back the Coop claims 3-6 has a strong influence over local hip-hop stations like Hot 107, and now he can't get that station to play his music. But now you got these new DJs. They don't know. They just changed the whole style. They playing all the Atlanta beats and everything. And now they just brainwash the whole Memphis when Atlanta get that from us. Hot 107 calls Coop's allegations far-fetched. The general manager says his DJs don't get to choose which artists get airtime. And 3-6 Mafia? Well, Juicy J had little to say about Coop and his allegations, except they're not true. I guess he must feel a little troubled or something, man. I, I don't... I haven't seen that dude in four years. I wish him the best of luck, you know. Now I'm playing the artist, baby. I'll never forget that. Unfazed by his lack of radio play in Memphis, Coop says he's focused on the future. I don't give up. I'm not, I, you know, something like me born, you have to find a reason for living. I love music. I'm not going to give up. And you're going to see me one day bigger than this right now. Happy to see 3-6's latest success. Always remember, don't get mad if you ain't got a number three record on the charts. Get your number three record, and then, you know, come on at me. 
rock and roll. This is Mafia for life, baby. Coop says it's not over for him. November 8th, the man Rob Cooper. <laughs> Got Coop. Yeah. He's been to the top, and he's determined to return. Don't do it no more. Number eight. July 13th, DNL. See what I'm saying? Some real shit. This motherfucker right here. Y'all can be hearing about this shit. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker right there, dog. See that foot? This up your ass, crunching. This up your ass, boy. I used to be clean in my ass, but this... What the fuck? I bet I get on no motherfucking video to buy a gig for this. Now I'm ready, you see, I jump in your car. Throw you out of that motherfucker, take your truck and wreck that motherfucker, nigga. You hear me, man? You a bitch, man. I hate niggas like you. Oh, man, I hate niggas like you, man. I'm gonna try to fuck my cool up, man. I'm cool, nigga. Take the P off with the L, nigga. Behind the coupe, you got cool, nigga. Take the K off with the L, behind the P, you got oops. Besides your motherfucking head, nigga. Bitch ass, nigga. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Fuck ass, hoe ass, suck ass, broke ass. So is. Nigga, you don't want nothing, nigga. Lyrically, mentally, physically, nigga. I'ma kidnap you, boy. For real, boy. It's on, nigga. Y'all should have kept chatting, boo, nigga. That's why you bitches went gold, nigga. Without me and boo, nigga, that motherfucker didn't go plan. So what the fuck does that mean, nigga? I'm back, nigga. You see that tattoo, nigga? You see that nigga? I'm here to stay, nigga. You heard me? On your days. This wrong to commercial. I'll be back talking about these hoes, my nigga. You feel me? No, I'm motherfucking Memphis, nigga. Me and Kevin 250. Rapper that out of three said they stayed in jail, breached contract. I missed a lot of videos, airplane, uh, flights overseas, and stuff to help to promote the album. I never was there, I was in jail every year. I just got out 14 years of paper, so it's not nobody else's fault. And nobody go around thinking we were getting fucked out of our money. It cost Paul and we got more money now. Step out of other folk business, start running up and worry about another grown man and try to get another grown man to help you. Them folk deserve this shit, you know what I'm saying? I did my part right here fucking up motherfuckers to prove they can't fuck with Triple Six. Like I told Paul and them, when they touch us, we're gonna touch their ass right back. And I'm quite sure it's a lot of folks in Memphis know about this shit. You know, I don't have, let me say this, I don't have a problem with the Illuminati. You know, pay me, I go to the dirty work, you get what I'm saying? I don't have a problem, you know, cause I don't think what's about to happen, it hasn't happened to us yet. And uh, we won't be living to see that part that people been heard about all their life. You get what I'm saying? So basically, people like us will be the targets if we talk too much or give out too much information. Basically, because we won uh, probably billions of people on this planet and we ain't nothing. You get what I'm saying? So who cares about us? So when you're dealing with folks like that, you have to be on point and know your shit because it's way bigger. These people who've been around for thousands of years almost and families who wrote some stuff down to make it only come true. You get what I'm saying? So you can believe in their religion. You get what I'm talking about? Yeah, they put that so, they're, they're set in stone. Yeah, they said it and they make these events happen. So you be like, oh, they said that in the revelations. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's some nostalgia. Yeah. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? They did, they did all this, but I, I, I fuck with the woman. I ain't got no problem with them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But when it gets to affecting me, then I'm a change. You get what I'm saying? It's all about opening your mind up, preparing people to get ready for what's about to happen. Prepare, prepare for a change in the economy and the way you're living, your lifestyle, how you spend, what you drink. Prepare for all that to be controlled. You know, prepare for all that to be controlled. Prepare for the music and everything you'd like to be forced on you. Hence now, the music you're hearing might sound like garbage to you because it's forced on you. You get what I'm saying? Prepare for you to be told to when you go to the grocery store or when you get your hair cut, what time you can leave your house, where your kids going, what they got to read. Prepare for all that shit. Aliens versus humans is all about this just to enlighten you so you can have some fun, just get you comfortable with it while they got these uh, movies out, expect movies out, showing y'all this boom, blowing shit up and kill the aliens, but what if they are our enemy and the people on this planet is our enemy? 
and they coming to help us out because the people trying to destroy the earth. Now, if you had power over uh, all these countries, why do you still have to fight? Maybe they trying to destroy this motherfucker before they go somewhere. Maybe they time is up. Maybe they got to go on the ground. Maybe it's going to get hot and they can't take it. People wake up. The aliens or extraterrestrials ain't our enemy. We our enemy. They only come to prevent what's been going on to this beautiful planet that the inhabitants have did, that the so-called, what they call themselves, the, uh, the, uh, the so-called Illuminati or the white race or what they call themselves, the superior race is supposed to have, but the superior race is fucking up shit. You can't be superior and civilized killing folks. To have, but the superior race is fucking up shit. You can't be superior and civilized killing folks.